What is happening, guys? Welcome back to another Kendall Save episode. And we, we're plugging along, right? We're, we're, we're still in the mix, but we have had some results that did not go our way. We have got Tadcast Albion today. They're in second place. We are currently in ninth. So let's see how we did there. So obviously, this is the game today. We're away at Tadcaster Albion. Sit in ninth place with two points off of the playoffs now. There's a lot of people with games in hand though, so we're going to have a little bit of an issue, I imagine. But since you last saw us against Mosley, we have lost two, drawn one, and won two. Won one. I was like really confused what I said then. Why did I go the backwards way around? But these games were a joke. Work and we smashed them. Point of threat, we smashed them. Colin, we did struggle a bit against it. Call that Alex Samazadat, Samazadia. Is unreal. He is so so good, so good. But it's we need to start picking up. Like, this is all we've got left. I'm pretty confident everyone's around there. Witness Prescott, last one. Yeah, everyone is around where we need to be. So every victory does kind of matter from now. Obviously, title race is out of the picture. We're not winning any of that. We need these two wins, and we would be definitely definitely be in that. Fortunately, we're not. But Nothing has really happened since the last episode because mid-season does kind of get like this. Tactic stays the same. This is what we're going to go with heading into the next game. We have Lee Ashton in goal. We have Burgess right back. We have Adamson and Chima in the middle. Birch at left back. Izzy Wale and Woods on the wing. Skidmore and White in the middle. Cole and Yaskalani leading the line. Um, Cole has been shocking. He's been absolute shit. But Hickson is no better. Who I certainly thought Hickson would have been the better option. But... Apparently not. So here we go. Here we know Jack Van is from Leeds Academy. Romario Vieira is going to rip us apart, yeah. I'm telling you now. But we've obviously gone through our line. We'll go to the dressing room. Hands on hips. Days the day we end our poor form, lads. I'm going to pump the fist and try and get some people fired up with the fist pump. I don't even know if that faith thing works in this this game. I, I've, really, I've only got two these two saves on the go. Usually I have my own personal save that I'm doing, but Fan in time at the moment who um, play football manager is becoming a little bit of an issue. But 10 minutes in, with lot, not literally not a lot is happening. We're already attacking. So hopefully we create something. It does open up gaps for them to attack, obviously, on the counter. But we, we stay strong, boys. We stay strong. Birch. Birch has got a free kick in ages. Like the last few games, his delivery's been shocking as well. It's weird. Burge another ball in. Clear by Shepard as you wall here. Bit conscientious there. <laughs> Can we get a VAR on that one, please? Have a look as you all there. Picked it up. Beats his man. Gives up. Yeah, he's in. It's miles in. That was Frank Lampard against Germany esque, that. Germany esque. The Tadcaster in second, so it doesn't overly affect us in terms of position wise at the moment the next few games will but it does still put us up there further which is nice dressing room also a chance I'm ecstatic boys how are you all feeling one thing I've noticed about this game I'm, I'm really struggling to keep form the same with the Marseille save I can't first year I was flying form wise and now I'm really struggling Russell Ball in Mason Birch heads it in is he, he's obviously up front a winger or something. Nah. Birch. Who is that? Burgess, right? Hey, look at his stats here, right? His Burgess stats are all right. He's got a heading of 10. And he didn't even fucking jump for it. This is what I'm dealing with. This is what I'm dealing with here, boys and girls. Lines as an effort. I always press Harrison, I always press Birch. There's literally no point now, but you know. They've had plenty full of shots more than us. Moo, a free kick. Ooh, that was weird. I must have hit the um, upright. No, I can't. I've hit the crossbar, you dickhead. Oi. But here we go. They're going 4 3 3. Um, oh. Pause it. Got a tactics. Right. We have. About five minutes, probably, to try and make something happen. Let's get off, put Mupperari on, like that. Wood is struggling. So we'll put Ishii Wally over there. 
take Wood off and put Jordan Clark on the left. Yeah, I would want to play this formation, but it was just too empty in midfield then, it kind of sucks, but could be something to look forward to going ahead into further games, but at the moment I don't really want to mess around with things that, that much. Let's hit play. Van with a throw into Mua. Van. Ball in. Chima picks it out though. Birch. Mpoariwa. Leaves it out wide to Ijewole. Should have passed it but didn't. Burgess. Big ball over top. Jaska Leinen. Saved by Boylan. Birch is struggling. I don't think we've got a left back. Oh, I do have Harry Warren. Put Harry Warren on. You can have four minutes. Birch ball in. Birch's deliveries are getting shocking at the moment. I don't know what the, I don't know what the crack is. Another terrible delivery from Birch. Would that have been the last chance of the game? It is. Right, what we're going to do, though, try and keep the confidence high, because that is going to be very, very important as we get to the business end of the season. What we're going to do now is we're going to change the formation to that one. I think it probably will be more successful in helping. The, the front two are always extremely isolated. It does cause me issues. He was struggling here. Um, if they're on attack, can they be on support without helping or? Hmm. Wide midfielder? Wide midfielder helps a little bit. Then what we'll do is we won't focus our attacks down the wings, which in possession we don't, we don't do anyway, which is all right. Keep it standard there, though. We won't miss about too much with that. This has been a terrible episode. I know it has. I, I, I'm kind of I haven't recorded in a few days and I don't record for a few days I kind of get lost with my train of thought about the save really does kind of throw me off whack but we did get the draw today right so in the league that puts us in 8th place we've got up one position which is better than nothing we do have picker in next right so we a win doesn't even take us into the playoffs which is extremely extremely worrying we need work it and drop some points be a very very tense six games of the season we are going to come back from marine in the last game of the season so in between them we've got pickering and we've got witness witness sitting 15 so they should be beatable it's annoying considering we were flying at the start of the season obviously i think i think the fa cup run did cost us i mean that is what's kind of absolutely obliterated this save because up until then up until then we were flying and then after that we just we, we completely fell off the track so that's, we've had three wins since February and it's, it's mid-April now. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll get the playoffs somehow. So there we go. Unfortunately, we did not get the win again. 1-1 one, one, though against second place is a lot better, isn't it? It's a lot, it's a lot more what we, what we can ask for. We do only have two games before the next update. Then obviously, I, sh I think it's better to play the top of the league. So we're playing, we obviously played second, we'll play the top, and then we'll come back for Prescott. We're in seventh, and hopefully we'll have some playoff games to look forward to. I honestly, I wish. Although it's nice to get to the FA Cup fourth round, I do think it's cost us dearly in relation to the league and basically every everything else we were we were in. I mean, we didn't get past the first qualifying round of the trophy. It was the first round of the Northern Prem Challenge Cup, but we smashed it in the FA Cup. So money wise, it's helped us. Um, form wise, it destroyed us. Thomas Cole has not been the same player since, which is bad, but we go on. That is going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, dislike if you didn't like it, and um, dislike it yourself, because I don't think this episode's been, been shit. It's hard to, to do an episode when you've got not a lot to talk about, because there's only been a few games since obviously the last one's going to be the same for the next two games, but it's kind of how it is. More importantly, guys, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.